Okay, we've got safety set. We're going to rescue bodies. We are not going to rescue boats. Oh. Hey there, my name is Jir, and welcome back to my channel. I'm embarrassed to make this video. If you haven't heard by now, my Wilson race lap was an embarrassment. This is not how I envisioned my first race going. So what happened? Things started so well. How you doing, bud? Good, how are you doing? Good, yeah, good. Did you lap in yesterday? The Amy Bag Memorial Paddle Fast Day. It's a two mile race through the Wilson Creek Gorge. Winning time is usually around 16 minutes. My personal goal was to break 20. Not having been on Wilson Creek in a long time and not knowing any of the race lines, I ran a practice lap that morning. The level was plus three and I absolutely aced it. I was stoked. The only thing to do now was to wait for the actual race to start. As we shuttled up to the top, I caught a glimpse of the cars along the road. There would be plenty of people watching the race. I love the energy of a crowd. It creates a buzz, an electrifying atmosphere. One that brings out the competitor in me and helps me perform at my best. It's like a mini espresso shot of focus and confidence. Okay, we've got safety set in where we think we need it. So uh, remember, you're, we're going to rescue bodies. We are not going to rescue boats. In 30 seconds, and I'll count down to 15 seconds, 10 seconds. And five, I'll go five, four, three, two, one, go! We got three minutes! Hamilton would be my race partner, and some of you might better know him as the Cascades guy. He's pretty darn good, but I was confident I could keep pace. The crowd was there, the stoke was high, and I had no doubt in my mind that I could crush 20 minutes.
This was a good race. The GoPro lens makes things look farther away, but in reality, we were no more than 30 feet apart. We actually passed each other quite a few times and both of us were digging hard and fighting to be in front. And I think that was my fatal mistake. I pushed far too hard for far too long and was gassing out. Breathe. Breathe. Breathing. Racing is a whole different game than river running. I've been told this before, but I never really understood it till that day. When you race, there are no breaks, no time to rest, no time to set up. Things get sloppy, and one missed line leads to another. I don't really remember all the details of what happened next, so I had to look at the GoPro footage, but I got caught in an eddy and ended up falling behind. It looks like Hamilton is way ahead of me now, but remember, the GoPro distorts things. Him and I both knew that he was only one mistake away from me catching back up. And so I sprinted hard with all the energy I had left to make up lost time. But that's when things got really, really sloppy. There was no fight here. I was out of breath before I'd even hit the hole. To make things worse, in the chaos, I let go of my paddle and lost it somewhere downriver. And let me tell you, as I was scrambling up this rock, I have never felt as embarrassed or humiliated as I did in this one moment. My boat is instantly recognizable with its fraying duct tape, and racers and spectators alike will see me and know who I am. They see me falling on my butt, defeated, ashamed, covered in mud, sweat, and river water. On top of the public humiliation, I was physically, mentally, and emotionally drained. The water was freezing and the cold was starting to set in. There was no way I was going to even come close to beating 20 minutes now. I don't even have my paddle. I clung on to my last remaining shred of dignity. I had to finish the race. How could I face the crowd and my friends if I didn't? The river gods must have taken pity on me. When I was swimming, I noticed a paddle floating by that was now stuck in an eddy one rock over. It wasn't mine, but I was absolutely prepared to dive back in that water and grab that paddle, no matter what because that was my only real chance of finishing this race. Lucky for me, I didn't have to. 
a good Samaritan in a bright yellow boat was able to snag it and throw it over. But now I'm in a moral dilemma. Somebody else is obviously missing a paddle, and so I was looking around for a swimmer. It wouldn't be right to leave someone stranded paddleless on the side of the river, but this may be my only opportunity to finish the race. Besides, there's no way of knowing who this belonged to and where they were. And so right as I finally made up my mind to finish out the race with this paddle. Is this you? I don't know what mine is. What happened to you? And this is bittersweet. I'm glad I was able to return the paddle to its rightful owner, and more importantly, I'm glad my friend is okay. Can I give this to you? Thank you. I'm gonna start heading that down and see if I can find my paddle. If you go with see mine, can you just toss it over? I will. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your good guy. I walked along the side of the river for a bit on the hope that maybe my paddle was trapped in an eddy further down. But the search yielded nothing. And so I'm back at square one, figuring out how to finish this race. Forget facing the crowd and my friends. How could I face myself if I did not finish? So I had no other option but to plunge my bare hands into that frigid water and bare hand paddle myself out. there was only about half a mile left. Normally, I'd be pretty confident about being able to finish this portion of the run, but I was worried that I was too far gone to be able to hit consistent handrails. Hopefully I wouldn't need them. I would swim twice from missed hand rolls, each swim further beating my mind, body, and soul into that hard bedrock. I was battered and bruised and beyond the point of exhaustion. My hands were painfully numb. But I did not come this far to only come this far. As I finally approached the finish line, I laughed and joked with the people there. I didn't want them to see how embarrassed and tired I really was underneath.
I think I have the new record for the worst lap of all time. My final time was 37.50. Let's do this quick. Uh, it's Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry. For my efforts, I was awarded the 2022 Beater Award and the Hand Paddler First Place. Beater Award. Yes! And I can give you every excuse in the book, but none of that changes the outcome. I still beatered this race, and that's on me. And it's times like this that I have to remind myself that stumbling and falling and looking stupid is just a part of the process. Oh, that was probably the roughest lap I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I was going to finish it out. You okay, man? Yeah, I got kind of wrecked in that hole. I looked back and you were getting back in here. I could take this and finish the race with this paddle. <laughs> no. I... Oh, this young man lost his paddle, drained the boat, got back in the boat, and he paddled out with his hand to finish. Hand, not hand paddle, hand. And we didn't have a hand paddler this year, so guess what? Yes, we did! Yay! Woo! Even the greatest have failed, and these awards do not define who I am. The sting of defeat and embarrassment is still fresh. But as I pack my gear and get ready to head home, I find solace in knowing that although today I may have lost in skill, I have won in heart. full unedited race lap will be uploaded to YouTube as well. Link will be in the description. Thanks to everyone that came out and cheered for me. Thanks to you for liking, commenting, and subscribing and allowing me to share my experiences with everyone. And I don't know if I'm saying this more to you at this point or to myself, but please remember, failing is okay, giving up is not.